Mark Cooklord, arguably one of the zestiest, the most reptilian men in the universe. I mean, just looking at this guy gives me a migraine. Just looking at this guy makes me feel like I'm on the Titanic and I've just hit the iceberg. He is just a walking red flag. So, what has he done this time? What's going on? Well, obviously, Facebook is known for stalking people and following and copying and, you know, making sure they know everything about you and your family. So, um, basically, Congress, you know, the people in America have invited or forced all the people who own things like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and they were questioned for four hours by senators. So Mr. Hawley did not give him a break. Let's put it like that. Oh my MG. So they voluntarily agreed to testify, but the heads of Snap X, a former Twitter, Discord, and Discord initially refused and were sent government issued subpoenas, basically forcing them. And what they were doing is basically a lot of children, kids, have killed themselves, died from drugs, ordered drug, you know, things like that from social media sites. So this, these people in Congress were holding him and the people responsible, rightly so, because it is easy. If you want to find crack cocaine, all you have to do is go into Snapchat. Trust me, I know. If you want to find a gun, all you have to do is walk into a supermarket in America. If you want to find an RPG, well then you have to order one through a mattress. Trust me, I know. And you can do all that on things like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. All these sites allow it they try block it but it's utter dog shit at the end of the day the more people they get on their apps the more money they make and that's all that these tech people care about it's sad it's true but it's sad and it's true what do you want me to do they fucking suck now don't get me wrong i like twitter i do go on facebook but i don't have it you know what i mean like i'll check it out once every five months or something like that see if anyone's died that i knew from school or something like that or check out who's married check out who's having a baby at the age of 17 that sort of stuff that's all people use facebook for we're going to show a clip mark zuckerberg basically was forced to turn around and apologize it's absolutely hilarious it's just so forced and nonsense and it, it, you should oh i'm gonna play it but it's mad That's let me ask said. you this let me ask you this there's families of victims here today have you apologized to the victims i would I'm, you like to do so now well they're here you're on national straight TV. away he's like oh God, do i have to you know what I mean? I just want to go back to my private villa on my private island and go jet skiing and, you know, practice my judo. So, I mean, just look at the guy. He doesn't look human. I, when he's dead, I want an autopsy. I want to see this man's body and see what it is because, my goodness gracious me, he is not a human being that's come from a woman's uterus. Vision. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to look at the cameramen rush up there getting heart attacks? Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at this. This is this is the shot that will make me money. Oh my god. Get out of the way. Get this photo shot. Oh my god of Mark Zuckerberg and being pointing to all the victims and stuff. And don't get me wrong, it's horrible that all this happens and people like this uh, should be punished and held responsible. What's gonna happen, mate? He's not gonna go to prison for this. He's killed people inadvertently. Is it his fault? Well, that's another topic for conversation. I don't like Zuckerberg, but at the end of the day, I think there's a lot of other instigators, a lot of other problems that cause it. You know, social media should be a free platform to say what you want. Unfortunately, there's always going to be bad people out there. I'm not saying what they say is right, not at all. But you know, you, if you can't have free speech and say, "Well, you can't have it," it doesn't it doesn't work like that. No one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. That's what I would call an apology when the head teacher has forced you to apologise for someone because you de-keg them. And if you don't know what a de-keg is, it's when you pull down their trousers, usually in front of a group of girls. Apologise for what you did, Henry. Um, fine, I'm, I'm sorry that I embarrassed you in front of the hottest girls in our year six class. Are you happy? You know, and you don't really mean it. You just got to apologise so you don't get kicked out of the school. He basically was like, oh, for fuck's sake, do I have to do it? Looks at his lawyers like, oh, fine. They said if I have an opportunity to apologise, apologise. It will end up in the newspaper. You'll get idiots like has his men making videos on it. You know, you'll be the good guy. Nah, bro. You're like Hitler's reincarnation. This dude was made in a test tube using Hitler's moustache strand and his ball sack sweat. You know, why, Mr. Zuckerberg... Guys, 
just emotionless, isn't he? He's just a zombie. He's just emotionless. I mean, if you've seen the social network thing, he, he's just emo like Jesse Eisenberg does so fantastically well playing him because you just think this guy's an absolute emotionless. Yo, yeah, fuck you, you fuck you, flip flops. <laughs> That's quality. Meta boss Mark Zuckerberg is basically stalking us and we all know it. This hearing, nothing's going to come of it. I've seen a video of him in court before doing all this shit. Was that you may be about to see sexual abuse material, but ask if they would like to see the results anyway. That, see, that's... How, how do you do that? I, I can't lie. I was on Twitter the other day and I went into a comment section and there was genuinely child, like, oh, join our Telegram for these, you know, explicit videos and it was a picture of a kid. So how the fuck is this on Twitter? You know, free speech is one thing but allowing child links and exploitation to be allowed to be sat on your platform like you must be on the drugs but this is a very powerful image uh, i'll zoom in for you all so you can see it but these are all the victims kids children dead drugs sexual abuse sexual exploitation because of social media now what do you do about it do you get rid of social media it's never gonna work never gonna work Florida just passed a bill where they're allowing it for certain times during the day it won't last no way and there's something called a vpn anyway it will last for mere moments uh, I mean, that apology was just a bit like, ugh, God. You know, he can't go there and say, no, I'm not going to apologise to the victims. Like, you know what I mean? It's indirectly his fault, but it's not directly his fault. And I think the problem is just general social media. When people get this sort of, oh, this taste for it, what they like, they spend hours and hours on it thinking it's an escape. It's the same why people play games or watch a film. They think it's the best thing for them. So they have moderators, apparently, 40,000 moderators. Snap has 2,600, X has 2,000, and Discord. Well, it's clearly not working though i mean there's so much kid and child exploitations happening online to do with drugs uh, sexual exploitations it's horrible and these poor kids have lost their lives these kids are dying and basically forces him to turn around and say i am a disgusting human who does not give a shit about your kids or your human life and this is the other problem this is a great point by shadow of ezra not a great name however mark zuckerberg has literally censored things about election fraud anything about the vaccine side effects against covid against Ukraine, against Israel. People who own these businesses like Twitter, well, Twitter's actually different, which I appreciate about Elon Musk, is they censor things. Now, the problem with censorship is it leads to certain views and opinions being sidelined, that everyone thinks Donald Trump's a Nazi, people think Joe Biden's a hero, but everyone also thinks Joe Biden's a sleepy donkey who should not be in power. And Matt, he should be in a care home. He shouldn't be running the United States of America. So the, the, the problem, again, with Facebook is not only do they not control the right stuff, but they're also slimming down what opinions and other viewpoints that do not go their agenda, the ones that go against making them money. Just interesting, isn't it, that all these things and all these people are able to control what we think and what we say. It doesn't, it's just not right. It doesn't sit well with me. It needs to be regulations, but not regulated by the government. It's like, there is no winning with this stuff. I don't want the government to run things. I don't want Mark Zuckerberg to run things. Who should run things? But look, and that's why people like me make videos on it and don't actually come up with the ideas because we're too thick as pig shit to do anything useful. Useful. Yeah, I just wanted to have a quick discussion about this. It's absolutely nuts. They control the narrative. They control all the media and what people say. Yeah, what they, you know, it's like they're writing the Bible and they say, no, this is it. They're making up the science. They're not doing the experiments. They're just telling us this is what you do. This is non-fiction. This is true. This is the facts. Please believe us. It's like, oh, well, we don't. It's like, well, it doesn't matter because that's the truth. Yeah, cool beans, everyone. Thank you for watching. Mark Zuckerberg, you absolute criminal. He, sh he should be in jail. And I like this. This man is the Jeffrey Epstein of social media. Think about that.